Hi, kinder and first graders. It's Allie with the Bookworm, and I'm here to talk to you about some awesome book talk books for your spring book fair this year. First up, we have Mel Fell. Now, what's really cool about this book is that it is the di a different direction than a normal book. Look at that. And what's cool is that it's about this young kingfisher bird named Mel who decides she's going to jump out of the nest and fly for the very first time. And she has a bunch of like bee friends and her spider friends that try to help her along the way. And what's really cool is in the middle of the book, she gets all tossed and turned in the ocean or in the pond. And it comes back and the book goes the other direction. So pick this one up if you like stories about perseverance and following your dreams and having the guts to try something even though you're scared to do it. This is a great book. The next one I have is The Little Butterfly That Could. Now it's not out yet, so I can't I don't have it for you to show you right now, but it will be for your book fair. And it's called The Little Butterfly That Could. It's the companion or the sequel to the very impatient caterpillar, which I loved. And it's super, super funny. It has great illustrations. And it's about this lost and confused butterfly who's on his migration and he gets lost in the ocean and he still has 200 miles to go. <gasps> Will he make it? Don't worry. He meets up with a whale in the ocean and the whale teaches him how to migrate because whales migrate too, right? And so it's a really, really funny story. So if you like funny, inspiring stories, check out Very Impatient Caterpillar. Next, we have Helga Makes a Name for Herself. Now this one's a new one. It's got a really, really cool, interesting illustration style. It has text bubbles, which is really fun. Um, it's about this young Viking girl named Helga who wants nothing more to be a mighty warrior like her hero Ingrid. And one day, Ingrid, the hero herself, comes to Helga's village and is looking for new recruits. So Helga has to compete in all of these different competitions to see if she can make it to be one of Ingrid's recruits. So check this one out. It's a great story about following your dreams. Next is Cliff the Failed Troll. This one is about a troll named Cliff who tries so hard in troll school, but no matter what he does, he can't quite seem to get it until one day he decides to try pirate school. So warning, there be pirates in this book. Will pirate school be any different? You better read to find out. This is the funny story about feeling different and embracing who we are. Next, I have Calvin Gets the Last Word. Now what's really different about this book is that it's narrated or told by a dictionary, another book. I have never read a book that's narrated by another book. That's a cool perspective. Calvin is this boy here and he brings his dictionary with him everywhere because he's trying to find the perfect word to describe his brother, but he can't quite get it till the end. And this is a great story about discovering new vocabulary words in context, which is really helpful. And what's cool is that all the words that he looks at are on the inside of the book and all their definitions. So you can learn them too. And I think, teachers, that this is a great book to have in your classroom. Now, if you're starting to read on your own, which is awesome, congratulations, you should check out some of our leveled readers. I have three of them for you today. First is Who Would Win Ultimate Ocean Rumble? Now, the cool thing about this is that it takes, like a tournament, 16 different ocean creatures and pits them together to see which one will win. And it has creatures like a torpedo fish and a killer whale. This one's my favorite. The man of war. Look how crazy that is. And so as you read and you keep going, you'll find out which of the ultimate 16 ocean predators is going to win. Now, if that seems a little too scary for you, I understand. You should check out Raya and the Last Dragon. This is a new movie on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. But if you like fantasy and Disney movies, this is a good one for you. Or if you like Miles Morales' Spider-Man or Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you should check this one out too. These are both great level one leveled readers. So if you're just starting to read on your own, these are perfect for you. Now if you need something a little more challenging than that, you should check out Frog Meets Dog. And the cool thing about this one is that it's bilingual. It's in Spanish and English. 
which is awesome. So you can learn two different languages. And I know a lot of you in your schools are learning Spanish and English. So this is good to support that learning at home. This is um, pretty simple. Dog wants to find a new friend. He wants to play with frog. Will frog play with him? So if you like friendship stories, fun illustrations, crazy hijinks, check out Frog Meets Dog, bilingual edition. Next, we have Doggo and Pupper, which is a new beginning chapter book series by Katherine Applegate. If you recognize her name, you probably read One and Only Ivan, or you saw the movie. Uh, this is a new series that she's starting. It has tons and tons of pictures, which is awesome, but it also has words in it. So this is really good, again, if you're starting to learn on your own. There's different chapters, so it's a chapter book, which is great. Basic premise, Doggo has everything under control. She likes everything super neat and tidy until one day Pupper moves in and Pupper's crazy and loud and likes to mess everything up. And so the humans take Pupper to dog school and he becomes, you know, really organized and follows the rules, but he's not happy anymore. So it's up to Doggo to cheer him up. So if you like animal stories, friendship stories, and you want to start reading by yourself, chapter books and you still like pictures a lot, check out Doggo and Pupper. Next, I have Unicorn Diaries 1. Now this one's super fun. This author also did Owl Diaries, if you've seen those before, Dog Diaries. And the reason I love these so much is that they're written like a diary, so you kind of get in the head of the character. In this one, you can learn what it's like to be a unicorn from inside the unicorn's head. And there's still quite a few pictures. I don't know about you, but I am a huge fan of pictures. In this one specifically, Bo Tinseltail um, is going to hit their unicorn school, and all they want is a new best friend. Um, and then there's a new kid in school named Sunny, so Bo's wondering if Sunny will be her new best friend. Um, check this one out if you've started reading on your own already and you want to challenge yourself because there are, you know, quite a few words and there's still some big words in here like thingamabob. It's not a real word, but it's hard to pronounce. So this one's good if you want to challenge yourself a little bit or if you just love unicorns, honestly. Uh, next, we have Monster and Boy. This is a new series, too. Now this one has a lot of words. So this is for you first graders who are very good at reading by yourself, you want to challenge yourself, or if you like reading with your parents at night and you think this one sounds really interesting. I do like that this one still has pictures in it because it helps understand, you know, kind of what's going on in the whole story. Basically, this monster is living under this boy's bed and he finally comes out and scares the boy and then eats him. Wait a minute. That's not how stories normally start with the main character being eaten? Well, what's going to happen next? Seems like there's going to be lots of crazy hijinks in here. So if you like friendship stories, funny stories, you know, monsters, cute stories, this is a good one for you. And that is it. That is all I have. So thanks, kinder and first graders, for listening. Um, I hope you found some books that you're super excited about. Uh, come stop by the bookworm during your week and mention your school's name, and we'll be able to you know, put it towards your book fair. Or if you shop online and you pick any of those books, we can put it towards your school too. So thanks, and hope to see you guys in there. Bye.